Would you like to learn how to make healthy and fun fruit snacks at home? Well, today on WTF, we're going to show you how to do just that by using Ultra Stick to make a homemade fruit by the foot and fruit roll up. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, one of the owners of Modernist Pantry. Here on WTF, every week we talk about unique ingredients, techniques, and show you recipes that you can do in your kitchen. So remember, subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll get notified of our episodes when they come out. And this week, we are going to be showing you how to do a DIY fruit leather, or as it's more commonly known, a fruit roll-up or a fruit by the foot. So we're going to show you how to make, is this, I believe, strawberry and pineapple flavors. Yeah. And it's really, really easy and really fun. So we can't wait to get into it. And I think where we want to start, Scott, is maybe the, what exactly goes into a fruit leather? You know, obviously fruit, but what else is there? So in the most simple sense, it can just be fruit and an ingredient that makes it uh, leathery like that. Mm -hmm. So what we're using here today is Ultra Stick and Ultra Stick is a type of uh, corn syrup. It's a dry corn syrup, uh, but it's not like the corn syrup you know where it, you know, it's added to a lot of things just to make it sweet. This helps make it very sticky and tacky. Yeah, and one, one of the things that we love about Ultra Stick and the reason why we brought it into our catalog um, like a few months ago or something like that was because it was super great for sticking like toppings onto bagels and all kinds of things and, and making granola bars and we thought this is really fun and you had the idea like why not let's try it in the fruit leather yep. um, and before that you know obviously people have been making fruit leather for a while and they were using mostly pure coat and crisp film which we do carry here in the pantry um, what makes ultra stick kind of better than those ingredients when you tried it out so the best part about it is some of those uh, if it's pure coat, sometimes you have to heat it and whatnot. And whenever mm -hmm. you do that, you're going to lose some of the flavor of the fruit that you're making. This is so simple that I can just add it directly in, blend it, and it's done. It's ready to go. It works in about 30% of the total weight of the uh, product. So I do, for this demo, I'll do 600 grams of pineapple and I'll do 200 grams of the ultra stick. But mm -hmm. you can do much smaller, right? This is just mm -hmm. for, for demo purposes. But it's very simple. You just mix it in and it's ready. Okay. You don't have to worry about, you know, blending it for a certain amount of time or heating and then potentially changing the flavor. All right. Well, I can't wait to see. It. And it's really fun because obviously we're both parents and it's such a great, it seems, seems like a really easy way to do something fun and healthy with your kids, get them to eat fruit. Um, but then also have fun, teach them a little bit of science. Yeah. And, and right. it's, it's pretty quick too, because you mm -hmm. can make these, if you have a, a dehydrator like uh, we have here, mm -hmm. you can make them overnight. So you can make it, you know, the night before and in the morning they're ready to go. Cool. So. You know how kids are impatient. So I'm just going to add in the pineapple directly into my blender. Okay. Do you need any added sugar in this recipe at all? No, the Ultra Stick has a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. If you find that you're using something very acidic, then yeah, you can add a little bit of sugar to it. Just okay. know that sometimes when you're adding sugar, uh, you are you could be holding onto a little bit more hydration. So that will increase the drying time. Okay. And I think when we talk about acidity, a lot of times when we talk about um, recipes here, we say, hey, watch out for the acidity. It's not going to work if it's too acidic. Are there any acidity concerns with uh, making fruit leather? No, uh, not, not with Ultra Stick. Not okay. at all. So you can just make the fruit leather right away with the Ultra Stick. You don't have to worry about pH or anything like that. Okay. Uh, it's, it's really easy to use. So I'm just going to blend this up. And I wanted to get into a puree first. Okay. before I add in the Ultra Stick, just so I can, uh, I don't want any to stick to the sides pretty much. Okay, and no adding water, no adding additional fruit juice, nothing. So I found, I've made it a few different times, and if I'm using something like a mango that's not quite ripe, mm -hmm. that will ho have a little bit of starch in there, and okay. it'll kind of, uh, um, when I add in the Ultra Stick, it'll become very thick. Then you can add a little bit of water. Okay. But for this, um, pineapple, strawberry, super high hydration, you know, uh, fruits, easy to use. Cool. Great. So I have this going just on low. I'm going to start adding my ultra stick. And this seems like a lot, but this is also a very big recipe. So okay. yeah. if you're making a smaller recipe, like one third of this, it's obviously not going to be 200 grams of ultra stick and ultra stick is very light. Mm. So I'm just going to yeah. just spoon it in. 
Notice I'm not worrying about sprinkling slowly or anything like that. Yep. But you will notice this is going to thicken up. You, you can already tell it yeah, is the way the blender thick, right? is, uh, is reacting to it. And that's good because it's going to make it easier to, when you um, spread it out, it'll be easier to keep it even because okay. it's not too thin. It's not going to run too much. Okay. The blender is protesting. <laughs> One more. Good to go. And do you need to leave this overnight for it to um, thicken up or does it hydrate right away? You can spread it right away. It hydrates right away, so once I get this in here, I might have to use the spatula a little bit to get around the sides. That's going to be good. Uh, it's ready to go. Okay. So that's it. Once it's mixed in there, and there's a little bit on the side, you don't have to worry about that. So right from here, I can then pour. It's falling in. Hmm. Is this an ingredient where you kind of have to, um, and I know you just talked about if you had the mango, you might add a little bit of water in. Is there some kind of consistency, like kind of, I, I feel like I'm seeing kind of a pancake battery consistency. Is that what they're looking for when they make their own? If you're using something like mango, it's going to be very thick. Something like a pineapple or strawberry is going to be this consistency. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you want to go around this consistency, but you want to keep it as close to that 30% okay. of the total weight of the recipe mm -hmm. uh, as possible. So it's very simple. I'm just going to get it on here, and I'm just going to spread it out. If you find that there's a lot of seeds and you don't like the seeds, which I don't mind them, uh, you can obviously strain it out. Just pass it through like a 250 micron super bag or something like that. Cool. Which is a whole other episode. If you want to find that, it's in the links in the description below. Okay. And okay. if you do, okay, so once you get it to your desired thickness, yep. um, obviously we're going to pop it into this Excalibur dehydrator here. And I'm sure if some people have dehydrators at home, is there like a recommended temperature and recommended length of time to put this in? Yeah, I like uh, between 125 and 135 Fahrenheit mm -hmm. and between 10 and 12 hours. Uh, at around 10, it's like perfect for the fruit leather. If you want to pick up one of these, you can kind of show okay. off the, the texture of them. Um, this Ooh. one here is really nice. We just made this one overnight. No, but it's it beautiful. Is. It's uh, it, When it gets a little bit too dry, mm -hmm. then it'll get crispy around the edges. And that's more like fruit glass. So if I want to take this okay. and I wanted to spread it very thin, yep, you can roll it up easy. Cool. If I want to spread this very thin, mm -hmm. you could just make fruit glass. So you, when you pull it off, it'll be a sheet. You break it into like nice shards for garnish or something on a dessert. Okay. So it's very simple. I'm going to place this directly in here. And then here's one that we made yesterday, actually last night right before we left. And so, yeah, around the edges it'll be a little, little crispy because they were thinner, mm -hmm. but it should pull easily off. Okay. That's the sign of a good fruit leather. Yeah. If it's sticky on the center, just give it a little bit more time in the dehydrator. It will uh, free itself up. Yeah, and I really, really love how easy it is because, you know, when we... When we used to do them with the Pure Co and the Crisp Film, I found that sometimes people were right in because they were having problems with their recipe. They couldn't get it to, you know, like dry properly. Mm -hmm. And this seems pretty much foolproof in terms of how easy it is it's to work with. It's incredibly easy. Yeah. Just put it in there with the, put whatever fruit in there with the uh, Ultra Stick and then place it into the dehydrator. That's yeah. it. That's all you have to do. So this like crispy little edge is more like a glass then? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You can definitely see how, mm. how thin it is at the edge, but you can break it off. But in the center, it's completely flexible. Okay. And, yeah, and you can trim the edges and use them for one thing, and then use the center as like your fruit roll-ups or something like that. Very fun. Or and fruit roll-ups. <laughs> ah, it's okay. <laughs> no, no trademark infringement intended. Um, if people don't have a dehydrator at home, is there another way for them to dry this? Yeah, if you have, as long as you have a non-stick mat, something like a silk pad, you can spread it on there and you can place it into a dry oven. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to turn the oven on around uh, like the warming stage, usually you have okay. like a warming setting. Mm -hmm. I turn it on that, once it comes up to that temperature and it's preheated, I shut it off and I put it in my fruit leather. Mm -hmm. You know, that'll keep it dry for, or warm and dry for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, you're just gonna have to, check on it, check on it, because if it's too hot for too long, it will just turn the entire okay. thing into fruit glass. And usually if it's thicker and it's fruit glass, it's going to stick to your teeth. Okay. These won't stick to your teeth, but um, 
because they have enough hydration that you can just chew them and they're fine. Mm -hmm. But when it's too thick and it's really crispy and dry, they kind of turn into like a um, hard candy. Okay, so if someone is working in their oven and they don't have the precision control of a dehydrator, are there any food safety concerns about leaving something in the oven for that long? Uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal because it's really dry and you're you're pulling out that moisture. When you're removing that moisture, you're lowering the risk for pathogens and things okay. like that. So. But obviously you don't want to leave in there for like a week. Oh yeah, don't yeah, do that. Right. Um, so obviously check on it, be safe. And this you want to unroll really cool. one of these? Oh yeah. Maybe one of the uh, the the larger ones. One of the larger ones? Sure. Yeah. Kind of see. So what I did with this, I just Ooh. put a little bit of water on the end to mm -hmm. kind of <laughs> stick them together, but you can see it opens right up and you can make fun snacks for your, your kids uh, lunch boxes or whatnot. Yeah. And whatever flavor is their favorite, you can make them rather than just artificial color flavors. Yes, I want to do like watermelon. If watermelon would be great. It's yeah. super high hydration, so it might take a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. it'd be great. Yeah, so if you do want to give this recipe a shot, um, Ultra Stick is available on our store, or you can enter to win in this week's giveaway by leaving in the comments below a flavor of fruit leather that you would want to make. Savory or sweet. Say, oh, interesting. <laughs> Avocado flavored. Um, yeah, so you can win a 400 gram bag of Ultra Stick just by leaving in your comments below. So we'd love to see what people are coming up with. It's a lot of great ideas. It's super fun. And who mm -hmm. knows, sometimes we, we decided we, we were going to make it here in the kitchen. So you can also get this recipe in the links in the description below as well. But, you know, make it your own. So until next week, from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Wang. And I'm Scott Guerin.